Well, well, you said I'm going to meet Jin. Does he, she, they talk? Is Jin a spirit or a person? Jin is a greater spirit, folk. Oh, oh, oh. oh. So Jin is probably okay. All right. <laughs> It's all just, it's, it's just starting to settle in. It's starting to settle in. Yes. Jin is a greater spirit folk. One of the, uh, well, the only one in Jinkala right now. Oh, right. Right. And was Jin, okay, so Jin was one of the originals. Yes. And. One of the did, four gods of Jinkala. How did Jin survive? That's a question best saved for him. I don't know if I, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know what sort of ground I'll be standing on compared to Jin. I, I, is that a question I can- is Jin, like, royalty? What- what is this? Like, am I talking person to person here, or...? Uh, Horvin scratches the back of his head. Honestly, I'm unsure. Right now, you seem to be placing him on a pedestal higher than, uh... Well, the clan leaders are most men of this land. Honestly, I treat him like a friend. Horvin sweeps his hand around. He hates that. <laughs> huh. Your attitude might in fact be appreciated. Well, I'll... I guess I'll just see then. <laughs> <laughs> the trees, as you pass by, begin to glow with an ethereal light. You feel a, uh, you feel an energy at work, subtle, twisting its way through nature itself. The world seems to twitch vibrantly with life. The flowers uh, intensify on all sides. <laughs> you reach oh, wow. the Ban Village. Oh look, more of those braided flowers. Yes. Well. Welcome to the Ban Village. It's remarkably beautiful here, Horovin. Mm, yes, uh, he stares to his immediate right. Well, it's a little outside the village, but this is where I live. Wow, so this is your home, huh? Yes, it's a rather nice place. Yeah, it is. A nice place to get away, though it can get annoying, he opens the door and walks in, when tourists, you know, sweep in and I can't get to the lake. There are other entrances to the Ban Village, obviously, but that one's easily the most convenient. I step over the precipice into his house and look around. Weird. It's it extraordinarily well kept. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I, I'm just kind of stuck staring. Uh, you hear some clanking outside. Horvin takes the swords off of his back, replacing them with a new pair. I glance out the door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I glance out the door and see the many racks of swords. And all the swords <laughs> stuck in the ground. Oh, oh yes, oh. Uh, it's a little bit of a mess. I cannot remove those from the ground. They are too far stuck. <laughs> he points <laughs> at the uh, five swords scattered around. I laugh at that and then glance around. Did you make all of these, or...? No, 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 of course not. I'm not some sort of swordsmith. No, of course not. You just have a bunch of swords. There are many sword makers in Shinkala. Those who make things, well, they're an admirable lot. Though I don't count myself among them. Huh, interesting. Wow, so this is, this is the house of Horovin the Hero, huh? Yes. It's a very nice house. Did you expect more trophies? No, honestly, <laughs> I... I don't mean to offend when I say it, but I just sort of thought you were a wandering vagrant. <laughs> thump, 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 he moves upstairs, completely missing that. He comes back down with a uh, shoddy wooden trophy. This is my heroing trophy. Oh, did you... who carved this for you? A child! You're giving me that look like, did you carve this for yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I just kind of thought, you know... It... Wow! Corbin walks <laughs> but, around no, you. No, listen! No, I, I, I look at Corbin. No, 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 there's precedent. <laughs> there is precedent for it, okay? I know people who have done similar things. I just... Uh... <laughs> Frankly, I'm embarrassed right now. <laughs> no, it's won. a wonderful trophy. It is a wonderful trophy. That kid could work on his craftsmanship, I will admit. <laughs> Horvin, he's a kid. Yes, that's no excuse. <laughs> he walks outside. <laughs> was it a... I have to ask, actually. I'm kind of curious. Was it a human kid? Or a yes. spirit? Okay. Huh. How many spirits live in the band village? Quite the number. In fact, it's primarily spirits. Re are... Are the people in masks spirits? Sometimes, yes. Huh. It's hard to tell. Interesting. Those masks, uh, at the same time, they might keep everyone silent, but it's also a symbol of equality amongst those who came here. Oh, that's... huh. Horvin walks up and strikes a pose. Uh, I follow behind Horvin, glancing up at the flowers once more. Assume a non-threatening <laughs> posture, it's important. Uh, I glanced down at myself? I was just standing normally. Assume I, I... a non-threatening posture, it's important. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I smile at them. Horvin so- takes another <laughs> step closer and poses more intensely. Um, <laughs> okay, I- we're good. Come on through. I covered uh- for you. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> You're going to need to work on that. So is that is that how everybody communicates? Is that like does everyone here have some sort of non-verbal form of communication or? Yes, of course. The only non-verbal form of communication, posing. Huh. You'll have to teach me someday. <laughs> it's very complex. Requires a lot of rigor and training. I I'm sure it does. I I am sort of absent-mindedly following behind Horovin, lost in the sights and sensations of the band village. Uh, you see, uh, uh, a collection of flowers in front of two statues. Uh, oh, uh, is this... Would there be a shrine in a spirit village? Uh, yes, it's, uh, well... Horvin once again scratches the back of his head. Uh, it's, uh, it's a shrine to Jin and a shrine to one of Jin's dear friends. Oh, uh, alive or... Sealed, currently. Sealed. Yes. Oh. I, uh... Well, there used to be a third statue here, but I kind of took it for myself, honestly. What? what? <laughs> I asked it to be relocated in front of my house. We passed it on the way over. Oh, we did? I totally missed that. What? Jin was just all right with that? Mm, yes. In this special circumstance. That's... Oh, God damn it. That's fucking... <laughs> 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 I... Huh. So, what... What was the circumstance? Uh, God damn it, Horvin, you're You're just adding to the number of questions I need to ask you. Oh, it was a statue of my dear master, Chiron. Oh. Oh. Huh. Oh, I wish I would have caught that. Can I... Can I put... All right, I'm putting I'm putting the questions I need to ask you on hold. I am just not I'm just too unfocused right now to figure out how to to do the, the questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do those questions. Hmm. Orvin st- just <laughs> stares. Yeah, I'm just looking off in various directions, admiring how wonderful this place seems. The uh, Orvin walks forward. Two shining creatures stand in your way. Oh. Of course. Uh, <sighs> what what are these? They're uh they're they're guards, let's say. Oh. Spirits? Yes, in a manner of speaking, they're creations of Jin's own. Um Jin can make spirits? Jin is an extraordinarily powerful spirit folk. They aren't true spirits in the sense that they have their own lives, but they're simple incarnations of phrase. With a single word he can create something like this. He points at the pillowy creature in front of him, crackling with energy. So... It looks soft. Do not trust their soft look. It's critically important. Oh, uh... So, (laughs) you have a moral decision to make. This is... What? This will be the river that divides your destiny. Horvin stares Uh, you dead in the eye. Uh... At this point, Jin is currently just up ahead. Okay. I believe your many questions would be best addressed to him, but he's currently taking a bath. He always does this. Company's coming over, instantly takes a bath, then tries to play it off like, Oh, I'm so surprised that you walked in on me. It's really weird. So, we can sit here and wait, potentially for hours. Or we can go and interrupt it and have to deal with a super awkward situation. Why don't why don't we just let him finish taking the bath? Hours, Ash. (laughs) He's you dead in the eye. Do you know how often I come here? Does he take... Like, every time? Every time! Do, would we have to it's sit absurd. right here? I mean, your house is, like, just back there. Like, will will he take another bath if we leave and then come back, or...? <laughs> I've never considered. <laughs> Fine, let's occupy ourselves elsewhere. I think I have a full grasp of your character now. <laughs> Orvin walks away. <laughs> Uh, um, I wouldn't be so quick about that, Horvin, but all right. <laughs> is, is, is there somewhere to get something to eat? Mm, yes, there's a relatively nice place. Oh. Huh. Uh, the man poses at Horvin. Horvin poses back at the man. We have another visitor. Interesting. Not oh. interested. <laughs> he walks past. Oh, do you get many visitors here? No. It's exceedingly rare. In fact, I don't know how one would even come to be here. Do the band take prisoners? Occasionally, if they can, you know, manage to capture one without killing them. Huh, interesting. So, wait, why wouldn't you be interested in a visitor if a visitor is exceptionally rare? You've piqued my curiosity! (laughs) (laughs) 
Horvin okay. walks. <laughs> Horvin walks back in the opposite direction. You know, I'm still really hungry, Horvin. I haven't had any food in a long time. He, uh, Horvin slowly cracks the door open. <laughs> On the inside, you see a man propped up, arm in a sling, not doing too hot. Uh, propped up in the bed on the far side of the room. It's Thog. Th- Thog? Th- Thog, what are you doing here? Th- uh, um... I- nice to see you again, Ash. First oh. time I... First time in, like, what, a week or so? Oh, God, Thog, I thought... All I hear I- you talking about is food. Nice. <laughs> he I- stares. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm hungry, okay? Look, I just... We just finished up with this big old... You need to do a lot of catching up, don't you? Where have you been, <laughs> Thog? Where have you been? Uh, I was worried. Yeah, uh, I was kind of too, as was everyone else. Um, uh, uh, I've touched base with them, and most not even worked it out at all, but they at least know I'm still alive. Uh, that's good. And now Ash. I know you're alive, which is good, but what are you doing here? How? Uh, what happened to your arm? Horvin moves back outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you see him posing fervently uh, <laughs> with the uh, guard at the exterior. Well, uh, I was, let's say, exploring the uh, the Anorian countryside. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was taking a quick look around, and uh, I got into some fights. Why? Why? That doesn't seem like you. You're always you're always so quick to frown on stuff like that. Yeah, and you're you're I, I move over and shut the door and then move over to it. <laughs> yeah, and you're uh, here and not in the company of uh those other two and you're not directly nagging anyone right now. You could say we're both acting on characteristic. Y- all right, fine. Fine. I get it. You want to leave it at that. Let me see your arm. Yep. Or, or I'm uh, going to... he, ex- he extends his arm. It is a uh, he bears a pretty distinct hatchet wound. So uh yeah, uh, I got, I got into uh a few fights um Grit your teeth. <laughs> As I say that, I grip his arm and give it a twist to pop the wound back together. And there is a sudden squelching pop as uh, what seem like uh, slithering green stitches weave in between the red wound. Ah, fucking the Anorian burn of healing. What the hell, Ash? <laughs> That's for wandering off and getting all chopped up and stuff. I could say the same damn- okay, except- okay, no. Look, I get- Mm. I- okay, you know what? I was gonna say that I didn't- I was gonna try to lie to you, but, uh, I look at the still (laughs) red-stained portion of my tunic. Yeah! It worked out, okay? Uh Uh-huh, right, yeah. Well, I've been stuck here for a while with a bunch of really quiet people who every time I try to leave, they just kind of shove me back into the bed. Well, like, really they, hard? I think they communicate by some kind of, I don't know, dancing or some shit. Uh, posing, Horvin says. Uh, okay, yeah. Oh. Thug grips his forehead. Okay, yeah. I, I'm just gonna, I guess, like, can you, can you tell them to let me leave? Um, if you swear that you will go straight back to Jinkala and meet up with, uh, meet up with Marcus, Gregor, Kier, uh, Indian's kind of... She's cool now, so I'm cool with Indian now. Oh, just what to the let hell? you know. Come on, like it's see everything's fine. Don't frown like that. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Sure. I just okay. Whatever. Glad I, you're okay. I am. I'm glad you're okay too. And I, I'm about to meet with the leader of this place, I guess. And I mean, I'd prefer like a, a better. Uh, a situation to do this at a more, in a more, uh, so that I can elaborate more, but I am sorry for leaving on such short notice. Uh, uh, there's that. Thog's dead fish eyes continue to stare straight <laughs> at you. <laughs> uh, say something. Okay, yeah, sure. I'll, and you, you want me to go back to Marcus and Gregor and... Yes, yes. I do. I'm here sort of for a couple reasons, but mostly I'm still on that whole figuring myself out thing. That's going pretty, actually, kind of well, Thog, I do have to say. Well, uh, he slowly uh, stands up. You notice he's uh, walking with a distinct limp. I hope you figure yourself out soon and uh, watch out with these guys. I, wait, I grab Thog by the shoulder. I Listen, I will elaborate more when I get back. I plan on coming back soon. I am sorry for all of this. Uh, Apology accepted. I hold out my flask to him. (laughs) 
<laughs> he uh he very slowly pushes it away. Can't really drink right now. Yeah. Uh I'll see ya. He nods and wanders out the door. <laughs> I stand in the room for a minute, just sort of shaking my hands and running my running the other through the hair through my hair. Okay, I sit down on the bed. There's blood in it. <laughs> I'm covered in so much already; it doesn't matter. Orvin cracks open the door again. You said something about food. Nice guy, by the way. Oh yeah, Thog's great. Um, really like the cut of his jib. What? His jib. <laughs> I, the uh, cut of it. I stare at <laughs> I like Orvin. the way it's cut. <laughs> I stare at Orvin blankly for a moment. What? <laughs> push off the blood-stained bed and, and say, let's just, can you just explain to me what a jib is over food? That's, uh, okay. <laughs> this is going to take some time. <laughs> Long enough, like, Jin will probably be done with his bath by then. <laughs> that is such a weird sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Horovin stares over his shoulder. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I got somebody on it. Uh, what? Don't alert me. What? What? What do you mean you have somebody on it? I you have just somebody whispered on it. In, You just whispered into your cape. Not, not into my... I would need to... I would need to, like, lean down for that. My cape is below well, it my was, head. Well, I was... It was a semi... I was just... Okay, you know what? Fine. If anything, I would be whispering into my swords, which are closer to my head. In fact, I can't turn 100% around without smacking my head on them. All right, so what <laughs> What did you just do, though? What did you just do? Oh, they're keeping watch on Jin while he bathes. They? Who? What? My friend. One of the spirits. Yes, one of the many spirits that follow me. Many? Why can't I... Are they here right now? Of course. What? Where? Well... Harvin looks around. They're all around you. Is this like a metaphor or? No, right here. <laughs> he grabs one of the band people and puts him in a headlock. <laughs> all around you. There's also one over there. Okay. All right. I know these two, but you're referencing, you're talking about other ones that I apparently can't see. That's right. You're at the wow. wrong angle for it. Horovin puts, uh, gr uh, grabs Ash by the shoulder and leads her to the very tippy top of the bridge. There's one right over there, too. He points down the way. There is a ban off in the distance. How did you... But you were just talk. Okay, how did you talk to the one that you just talked to? Talking is one of my few skills, Ash. <laughs> <laughs> you and Colvin both. <laughs> <laughs> they can't talk back, but I assure you, we are communicating. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I need some food, and I need my body to finish putting itself back together, and I need sleep, and I need so much Or Orvin. Like, uh, Do you need a pepper? Just like a pepper? Like a pe Like I have I mean, this- sure. I have this pepper. Chop it up and I'll eat it. What? How about- how about adding it- how about, like, some squash as well? Okay. Uh, I don't really eat squash raw, but- as, as Horvin moves down the list of vegetables, he keeps watching your reaction, <laughs> nodding with each. <laughs> yes, do you, do you know how to cook, Horvin? So simple. Yes, I'm an exceedingly good cook. Are you? You combine the green things together and achieve a salad. <laughs> <laughs> can, I just, can I just make myself something, Horvin? Such a simple construction, yet with such profound meaning I, to so I many. Sort of, I push him aside a little bit as he keeps talking and just make myself something with what looks edible. <laughs> I, carry, uh, I carry the dish I've made for myself out to Horvin's backyard and sit on the edge of the well. And dine in peace. You notice many swords stuck in many trees in the distance. <laughs> huh. Time passes in the band village. You enjoy a, well, somewhat pleasant evening after your uh, night's vigil, uh, staying up to, uh, you know, watch, uh, <laughs> staying up to keep an eye on, uh, Kieran Marcus. Uh, you, you peacefully chomp on your salad and, uh, reflect. A nice, finally peaceful moment to myself, catch up on a tiny bit of sleep, and between moments I wonder to myself what, what everyone else is doing. What, uh, Marcus, Gregor, Kier, Colvin, Indian, what that lot's doing? I mean... They're probably training. I mean, I doubt it. We just sort of got off of that huge, huge battle with, with Narn. And, I mean, I imagine everyone's exhausted, so I'm sure that they're taking it easy right now, too. I mean, uh, well, at least I hope they're taking it easy. They had a nice, 
They have that nice in room to go back to. They're probably training. I really doubt they're training, Horovan. Honestly, I really doubt they're they're doing anything exciting right now. Which way? Which way? Which way? Which way? Right, 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 right. Okay, right. He runs up. Uh, skeletons continue to pop out of the graves. Now left. Ah! jumps into an open grave. Get a cracker, please. Something, anything. Cracker begins pecking at the mummy's hands. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Thug, after wandering the night towards this location that he was pointed towards by many silent people, uh, he wanders forward. He reaches the pool, looks around. He sees the ban and, uh, walks up. So, uh, yeah, I was, uh, I was told to kind of, like, leave this place. Kind of fought a lot of your guys. I, uh, don't know if I necessarily killed any of them, but if I did, um, my bad. <laughs> he kind of <laughs> stares. <sighs> he sits down on the edge of the pond. Well, I just found a... the heck am I supposed to do with the pond? <laughs> he ruffles his hair, pulls out a cigarette, and begins to smoke. <laughs> oh, what the heck are you doing here, Thog? This is a whole lot of bullshit, and you spent your whole life staying out of bullshit like this. He looks around. Uh... Yeah. So, uh... You, uh, wanna smoke? <laughs> he very <laughs> slowly extends a cigarette. The creature surprisingly walks over, places the cigarette in the mask, and lights it up. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this is my life now. <laughs> <laughs>